So we talked about in the previous dyno, you know, what kind of horsepower this uh, should make. And, of course, we don't know. We haven't tested it yet. Right. I do uh, have that uh, same software that I use for all these uh, motors. And I, I had these cylinder heads uh, flow tested, so the flow through the intake and exhaust and cubic feet per minute and different valve lifts. Mm -hmm. So I have really good uh, cylinder head flow information. I CC'd the chamber to see the volume and uh, ended up being higher compression than I thought. I think in the previous video I said around 9 to 1. It ends up being 9.9 .9 to 1. Really? Which is almost, almost 10 to 1, which um, is fine, of course, but it, it'll limit what we can do with the supercharger because we already have a lot of uh, cylinder pressure and adding the supercharger, putting more air and fuel in just makes that problem well, it's not really a problem, but it makes that parameter difficult to manage because more air and fuel results in higher, you know, cylinder pressure under, uh, in the sort of the artificial uh, compression ratio that you get when you add, uh, you're compressing more air and fuel, so the pressure is higher. Mm -hmm. And, of course, after ignition, it's higher, but that's not the parameter I'm worried about. Right. But it, it will limit uh, how much boost we can put in with the supercharger. Mm -hmm. But it should make for a really nice, um, a naturally aspirated uh, engine. And we are going to test it with a four barrel mm -hmm. and uh, then the supercharger. And we'll, uh, we'll get into some of that later. Yeah. But uh, I think with the four barrel, uh, we'll end up around 300 horsepower with just a four barrel, no supercharger. <clears throat> Somewhere 5,500 to 6,000 RPM. So a lot higher than... Uh, the regular flathead, and that's all about the flow and the cam and things that uh, that we'll get with these uh, heads. And then the blower, uh, you know, we could make a lot of power, but we will be limited by, you know, starting with almost 10 to 1 compression. So I think we'll end up 3 to 5 pounds of boost, not a lot, mm -hmm. but I think we'll end up pretty close to 400 horsepower with the, with the blower. 